Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill Creative Team, and today I'm excited to share with you a whole different idea than even just stamping. I am going to teach you how to do some fun nails. I have my special helper. Beth is with me today. Come and say hi, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> She's really excited to be here. Thrilled. I told her I'm using her hands today. So <laughs> we are going to show you how to use this really fun new product that's in the mini catalog. It's called Gilded Leafing. It's super fun and it's super pretty. Here, I have it in this Tupperware. You can kind of see it. Oh, so pretty. And I am going to show you how to apply it to your fingernails to get a pretty um, different look on your nails. So Beth has generously offered to be my helper. So I'm going to have her put her hands in. Awesome. And we are going to paint them red. So I'm not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I am no professional nail painter. Let's be honest here. I'm no pro, but... She can go wash her hands and everything. <laughs> once, your, once your nails have dried, at least. So it's important to paint these, right? So that it's still kind of tacky to yes. the technique you're showing? Yes. So you need to paint them right before you apply the gilded leafing. Okay. So you want it to be kind of tacky, but not like wet. So you don't want to ruin them while you're doing it, but kind of tacky. Okay. So then I'm just going to grab like a little leafing here and I just kind of like to like tear it apart like that. And then I'm just going to take it and just kind of dab it on her nail a little bit and then pull off the extra. Okay. Like that. And then you can see I have more just stuck to my finger and I'm just going to put that on too. There's no real like, I don't know, pattern you have to follow. You could, if you wanted, you could do just like the tops of your nails or just the sides. I've seen lots of different things that people have done. Really cute. Oh, so you, have you seen this before? I, I, I yeah, I saw... Um, I actually Pinterested it. <laughs> Pinterested. We're gonna coin that term. It. Yes. <laughs> and um, I haven't seen it done with the this product from Stampin' Up, but I have seen like nail people. They must have their own kind of product that is the same. But I thought it was fun with Stampin' Up. Well, we all like to have pretty nails while we're stamping, right? Yes. Okay, so then you can kind of see on the top of the lid, there's just little flakes. I like to just take my finger and rub that. So I get it on my finger and then just like dab that on too. So it kind of gets like a sparkly in there too. Like that. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay. Oop. Kind of like that piece. And it just kind of starts sticking all over the place. <laughs> so. It doesn't seem like you have to use a lot, though. No, not at all. You get some more little sparklies. Oh, that's kind of a big one. I like it. It's different. Yeah. And that's, it is, it's kind of fun. It's very abstract nail art. It'd be kind of tricky to get it very perfect, I think. But maybe people are more talented than me. <laughs> that's okay I'm okay with it all right very good and the thumb I like this little piece right here all right Oops. just like that so simple. Okay, and then you're going to take your favorite top coat and then just go over the top of it once the nails are dry. But they should be pretty good now. Go over the top and it'll help it to kind of stay for at least a couple days. I don't know about you. I start picking at my nails. 
That's my problem. I do too. But it'll be pretty. Okay, and there you go. So bring in your other hand. Look how pretty. And there are mine too. So pretty. So I did kind of a more nude color and with the gold on it. So fun. So I have had so much fun playing with this Gilded Leafing um, product that Stampin' Up! has come out with. I love it, and I also love using a Stampin' Up! product in a way that it's not necessarily meant for. It gives so much versatility to it, and it makes it so worth the money. So if you're interested in purchasing this, make sure you visit our website at stampinjill.com, and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.